to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Webley Nemesis. This comes both in 22 caliber and .177 caliber. Today we're going to demonstrate the 22 caliber. This gun's pretty cool. It comes both with uh, fiber optic sights, the green in the front, red in the back. It comes standard with a Picatinny rail, which is great because you can add all kinds of accessories to it. It comes uh, with the half UNF threaded barrel, that is if you wanted to put some type of muzzle brake or some type of accessory on the front, that could go right there on the front, which is great. The gun um, also comes with, in the bottom here, you pop this little piece out, right there, oops, <clears throat> and this is your wrench. This is your wrench for taking your uh, CO2 apart, or rather loading your CO2, you know what I meant. Okay, so see this comes out, and then your CO2 goes right in the front there. Also, we have <clears throat> a magazine, and this magazine holds six pellets on this side, and then you flip it over and you have another six on this side. And this goes right in here where this single shot tray is. You just pull this little tray out. It's as simple as that. And then your magazines just slide right on in until you get a snap. And that's it. And you have your six rounds just like that. Of course, as you saw, there's no CO2 in this gun. Um, other things about this gun. This has a terrific trigger on it. Fantastic trigger. It's amazing that uh, a trigger um, coming right out of the factory at this price point has this good, um, but it does. It has a really nice good trigger. Now, ironically, the bolt is interchangeable. For the uh, left-hand shooters, you can move the bolt to this side. There's some instructions on how you do that. Um, this gun, before I forget, it can actually be decocked, and all you do to decock this is you pull the bolt back, hold on to the bolt, pull the trigger, and then just slide it forward slowly. That's it, completely decocked. That's kind of a neat um, feature. What we're going to do is uh, I'll give you, a, I'll show you some specs here real quick, and uh, then we're going to head on out and uh, we're going to go through the whole gamut. We're going to check the uh, feet per second. They're advertised around 400 feet per second, depending on what weight of pellet. Um, I also know I get about 40 really good shots out of it. If it's a little warmer weather, you're going to get a little bit more. Um, but right around 40 good shots. Um, as far as backyard friendly, yes, but I would say for a CO2 gun, this is a little bit on the loud side. Maybe that's why they uh, designed this uh, threaded portion in the front, so you could maybe compensate that somehow. But uh, also, uh, we have your standard uh, weaver uh, mount on the top, a little dovetail there, so you can put optics on it, which we're going to do for our uh, shooting outside. So, let's move on out. Okay, here we are with the Webley Nemesis. We're gonna do a little bit of a crony test. Um, they say up to 400 feet per second. I'm sure that depends whether it's an alloy pellet or not. We're gonna use the 11.9 grade RWS hobby pellet. Let's do five shots over the chronograph and see what we get. Safe. All right, let's see what we get. Well, that was 420. It's not overly too hot of a day. That was 427. It's about 75, 76 degrees right now. That was shot number two. Shot number three, 429. 432, it's crawling up a little bit. This thing really does have a nice trigger on it, by the way, and I'll give you the trigger pull on it a little bit. All right, our final shot here, 426. That's definitely performing. you got to like it. All right, let's do a little bit of a uh, target testing when we come back. Okay, now we're ready for a little accuracy test here with the uh, uh, Webley Nemesis. This is a 
22 caliber once again. We're going to be shooting the Meisterkugeln, the 4.0 grain pellets. They seem to be the most accurate in our pre-testing. So let's see what we can get on camera. We've got a, our six shot magazine loaded up. We'll try to do all six shots and see what we got here. Let's see. Yes, and I do have a little red dot on here because even though it does have open sights, they're not adjustable, and I just want to see what the best type of grouping we can get out of this gun. So we're uh, we're about um, 10 yards back, and let's see what we can get here. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. We got one more. Not too shabby. It's amazing the accuracy. It's amazing the trigger on this thing. I mean, this this actually you could actually take this back quite a bit farther and probably get some pretty good accuracy. I just didn't want to push the envelope. I wanted to show you exactly what you could get here. All right, let's see how our Webley Nemesis does on a little bit of plinking. I've got some the eggs that I, you see up there on the target. They're actually designed for 22 long rifles. But let's see what type of uh, foot pounds we can uh, push those little uh, eggs around with. All right, we're ready to go here. Well, I'd say it knocks those heavy eggs over pretty doggone easy. Try right here. Oh yeah. Not a problem here. Not a problem with power with this thing, that's for sure. Not at all. You know, you got to be pleased with this. And the accuracy is right on. Stay tuned for a minute. We'll uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, welcome back. We're going to be do a quick trigger pull on our Webley Nemesis. See what type of uh, weight we got here. We'll just cock our bolt. Got our trusty Lehman trigger gauge right here. Two pounds, one ounce. You gotta love that. Two pounds, one ounce. Yeah, the the trigger on this is actually terrific. For the for the price point of this gun, it's fantastic. All right, let's move on to our next segment. Well, like any good investigation, we need to come up with a conclusion and a recommendation here. So. Going over this gun, I think, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's outstanding, especially for the price point, at $120 roughly, and then you're able to accessorize this, you um, obviously you can put, you know, you can put your bipod on it, you can put whatever sighting system that you want to set up. The trigger on it, it ugh, terrific trigger, as we showed you, it's a terrific trigger, it's accurate. We, you can put accessories everywhere on this gun. So my overall rating on this is going to be four stars. And I think it's well deserved at that point. Maybe it would have been a little higher if you had had adjustable fixed sights. So if you get it out of the box and it's not, you know, your point of aims off, at least you have the options of putting um, some type of aftermarket sighting on it whether it be a simple red dot, you can put a scope on it, um, you can put a laser on it, there's just, there's no limit. So, um, the velocity, it, you saw it was shooting well over 400 feet per second. It, it is, in my opinion, you probably wouldn't want to shoot this at nighttime in the backyard, depending on where you're shooting it, because it is a little bit, I would say, as far as CO2s go, a little bit on the louder side, but that's what, again, that's what's nice about being able to modify this. Um, other than that, I would say add it to your collection. 
it's a it's a good shooting gun it's a lot of fun you've got the 12 shot magazine here so again add it to your collection and once again join us where we take the mystery out of the air gun